All right, I'm Dean Schaff, president of the uh, Veterans Memorial Center and the museum curator. And uh, this is Paul Lipinski. We've been working on this project for a couple of years. Uh, it'll be two years in December. And uh, uh, to get this periscope moved from a museum over in Largo, Florida, that closed. Uh, it belongs to Naval Sea Systems Command. Nav Sea. Nav And uh, it's on loan to us. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll keep it... Uh, in good working order here in the museum. We hope it will be a, a good uh, draw for the young kids and, and anybody else who wants to play around with the uh, optics of the of the periscope. And speaking of optics, it's 1.5 uh, and 6x, uh, uh, I guess you'd call magnification. it, what, magnification. And, uh, and we have, we've looked through it, uh, we can rotate it around 180 degrees uh, you well, can see clearly see the uh, the beach or the the park out here, the uh, mall next to us, just anywhere uh, anywhere around. It's uh, it's really clear. It's uh, it's going to be a great uh, asset to the museum. Paul, you want to say anything? I'm Paul Lipinski, I'm from North Hatfield, Massachusetts. I worked for the company that designed and manufactured this type of periscope. It's a Type Two Foxtrot Two F. I worked primarily, well I started as an electronics technician in the shop and then I kind of traveled all around and I did, ended up with field service and international field service. But about 30, 37 years ago we got a call to replace a periscope at a museum and that started a career of doing 35 of them. I consult just, you know, consult with people who own buildings the, the difference between a building and a submarine. What it takes to put it in. This, this periscope is uh, it's about 40, 42 feet, I think. Uh, right. from it's mechanically 42 feet. Optical length is 40 feet. From uh, from top to to the base here, and there's about 10 foot uh, extended out uh, the roof line in the in the back of the building. Sponsors, yeah. The uh, I got it here. <laughs> yeah, let me let me read off the uh, of course Naval Sea Systems Command Navy League. Uh, Cape Canaveral, Jim Kuzma was a big uh, point in getting us some uh, some money from Navy League for this. Military Officer Association Cape Canaveral has, uh, has sponsored us. The Submarine Vets, Snug Harbor, uh, myself, uh, uh, Dean Schaff, uh, Doug Bissett has uh, donated uh, a substantial amount of money. Paul Lipinski is the consultant. Fleet Reserve Association, Branch 263 is a, is a sponsor. Marine Corps League has sponsored us. Now the the rest of the, this is uh, the BRPH is the architectural firm that designed Andrew Miller uh, with the architectural firm. All pro bono. Uh, Ivy's Construction, Hamilton Roofing, Bale Brothers Crane and, and Lifting, and then uh, U-Haul uh, Corporation has uh, loans the forklift a few times. So, and uh, several smaller uh, donors. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll keep updating this list as we as we get uh, donations coming in. So uh, I thank all the uh, sponsors for this. Uh, in about an hour, we're going to have a formal ribbon cutting here with the Cocoa Beach uh, Chamber, but uh, we'll do that uh, at a later date. We've already had a group picture of all the workers here this morning from Bale and the uh, Ivy Construction, the roofers. Uh, they were our super group of guys. Uh, yeah, everything went pretty smoothly. Yeah. And uh, I think we started at 7 a.m. this morning. They, they brought the crane in, and uh, I think we were by 11 o'clock. Yeah, well, yesterday was prep, uh, uh, opened up the boxes and, and prepped the periscope, put the lifting device, the clamps on there to, to lift it, and uh, did the rest of the work today. So that's all we got. Thank you.